Hey Rap Alex, it's Jade, welcome to an ARC News video. There's meant to be a huge massive update today and Wildcard decided not to actually give us full patch notes for it. I kind of understand why, they did mention about 70 fixes relating to maps and it looks like the majority of them are mesh holes so they're not going to really want to highlight where there were some mesh holes where people were obviously cheating or hiding their bases off map and stuff. But still a bit disappointed to see such a big massive update and this is all we got in terms of patch notes. The biggest thing though to talk about is there is going to be no more events for ARK next year. This is the last year we're going to see them. Might not be as obviously kind of shocking with ARK 2 are meant to come out this year, but we all know it's actually been delayed till next year now. It's a good bet that obviously they're going to stop supporting the first game. Not sure it's the best way to do this though with just some patch notes. Like they couldn't have made a nice little statement. They couldn't have got some sort of celebration of all the events they've done. Make no mistake, Wildcard have done a fairly decent job in supporting the players that regularly play. Not many companies do these seasonal events, especially without microtransactions fueling the purchases. And in the past, lots of these events have been pretty broken and buggy, particularly on console, but at least they did try to do something. But yeah, here it is. We know you folks enjoy your event cosmetics, so as we enter into a last year of events on Arc 1, we'll be adding the associated cosmetics to the Hexagon store once each event ends. Speaking of, we've added the Love Evolved cosmetics to Hex store with today's patch. All of the event content will be added to the PC game at the end of the year's cycle of events, so they could be opted in for our PC unofficial server owners and players. Our console players will be able to grab all event cosmetics from the Hex store. So, bigger picture here is, this is it. Once Arc 2 is here, you can forget any kind of support for the original game. Obviously there's other patch notes, I'll briefly go through them. Over 70 fixes related to mesh holes and foliage across all maps. Fix an issue where King Dynanopithecus trophies disappeared on session restart. Disable various boss trophies from being able to be transferred to prevent them from disappearing. And fix the bug with fishing from a canoe. We've also fixed an exploit. Now this update has actually only gone live on PC, it's not going to be hitting consoles I don't think until a few days later or possibly even next week. But yeah, that is big, big news. Look, I don't want to be one of them bozos that says Ark is dying, but there's no doubt about it. In the last few weeks, particularly in last month, Ark has taken a massive hit to its player base. It's at its lowest it's been for absolute months, maybe even years. Combination of some big AAA games that some players might have liked to try, like Dying Light, obviously Elden Ring, and although they're nothing like really Art Survival Evolved, it still takes players away from playing. In between the big DLC and the free maps, it's these kind of events that keep players playing ARK on official servers. The Lost Island did bring a nice little boost, but as you can see it's been diminishing returns for about two years now. Every DLC, even the free maps, used to bring the biggest peak of players that Ark had ever seen. And although they had a massive jump due to COVID at the time of everyone in lockdown, the game kind of has not been hitting the heights that it maybe once was. Look at that chart, and it's obviously better than it was in the previous years, but in terms of actual hitting peaks again. So it's time, it's time to say goodbye to Art Survival Evolved. Now that may piss off some players, because we're still waiting for confirmation about what's going to be happening for exclusivity. We know the game's coming to Xbox and PC, we don't know exactly when it's going to be coming to PlayStation. It would be a pretty crap affair if PlayStation, who have over 3 million players playing the game on that system, and obviously even more now it's just gone free with the PlayStation Plus, if they don't get any kind of support next year and they have to wait even longer to play the sequel. If you're still holding on to the fact that Ark might even come out this year, I'm telling you now, it's not going to happen. They're not releasing Fjordor in June if they've got their sequel coming out only a few months later. And this big statement today really confirms and hammers it home. Ark will start to die. You're going to see less and less people on it, no events, no support, and all their focus will be on Ark 2 next year. No judgement, that's what happens. Obviously it's got a sequel, but it's one of the problems with kind of running their first game right up until the release of their second. You do hear about this, you do see this kind of stuff, but it's usually for games that haven't had any events, haven't had any DLC for maybe a year or so, and then you hear that they're going to start shutting stuff down. Now they haven't mentioned that yet, obviously they're going to be keeping servers open, and I don't expect them to shut any servers down. They will reduce some next year for sure, as they always do with their server migration, getting rid of servers that are pretty much dead on official, but they're not going to just turn off the whole network. And obviously they're getting it well prepared that you'll be able to do a lot of the event stuff on your own private servers to continue playing Arc 1. 
But there will come a point, probably I would say in 2024, where they may actually decide just to shut the ARC 1 servers down. And maybe if PlayStation doesn't get the ARC 2 release at the same time as other platforms, it might be the only way that you can play certain game modes or certain types on servers. And there we go, that's it, short and sweet. If I get any other patch notes, I'll let you guys know. But this is it, this is the beginning of the end for ARC Survival Evolved 1. So of course my timing coming back to ARC after a good long proper break probably isn't the best. But I've been enjoying playing the game again. I've been making new fresh guides for all the PS4 noobs, picking it up with free for PS Plus. And you know what? It has been enjoyable. So until next time, I'll catch you later.